All right, welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. We are coming to you from Boise, Idaho, where it is snowing. It has been snowing for the past two days. Uh, pretty, pretty exciting, pretty refreshing, pretty different for us. But anyway, today's video, let's talk about nice hash, getting paid out in Bitcoin while mining ETH and the fees and stuff like that. So uh, one thing I liked about NiceHash was I can still run my self-managed rigs. I run Windows 10. I manage my own rigs. I don't use uh, HiveOS or NiceHash to manage the rigs. So you can run your rig, point your wallet to the Dagger Hashimoto pool, which is uh, maintained or run by NiceHash. And you can then mine ETHash to that pool and then you'll get paid out in Bitcoin, which is sweet because I originally got into this stuff in 2016 for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the boss. Bitcoin is is the uh, digital real estate, is the uh, is the new gold, right? Store of value. So I want to I want to keep doing that. So what just happened is uh, in the past, as up till today, nice hash, you could withdraw your Bitcoin the stuff you mine, you could do a withdrawal to Coinbase with no fee. No fee at all. That was sweet. That's a nice of selling point. That's a nice, uh, you know, lead to bring people in to use your platform. So they ended that today. I was trying to withdraw my 25 bucks I accumulated over the past day or so to uh, Coinbase. I went, oh, they disabled it. So what I did instead, I said, all right, I'm just going to get this out. I'm going to get off nice hush now and try something else just to experiment. So I pulled out my little $25 balance to my BlockFi account. Why? Well, it was only 25 cents fee. Again, the fees are awesome compared to the incredibly ridiculous Ethereum GUI gas fees. That's going to kill it. Side note, I think once Ethereum goes to proof of stake and mining stops, Ethereum is going to lose all their fanboys, all their support, all their free advertising, organic, you know, conversations about how great Ethereum is because I'm mining it. Uh, but now when you go to proof of stake, they're going to lose all that, including me, because I'm going to like, eh, what, what's the point? And also you add on these ridiculous fees. I think it's going to kill it. I think it's going to like crash to zero. So keep mining it, keep, keep stacking it. And as it gets closer to the proof of stake, watch the price and maybe dump it. That's my plan. That's not financial advice. I am probably again, 100% completely wrong. But that's what I think may happen because a lot of these things that have gone to proof of stake, um, I don't know. You don't hear much about them. Uh, Ethereum's worth that because people are mining it. So there'll be a re replacement, hopefully, and you can keep using your GPUs. Hopefully, the GPUs don't become uh, useless or Dunsel. As, uh, what's that reference? What's Captain Dunsel re referring to, people? That's a good quiz question. Captain Dunsel. Put it in the comments below. Anyway, let's get back to it. So Bitcoin was the reason I got into it. I want to withdraw. Now I withdraw the BlockFi. Why? Because I get paid interest on my Bitcoin. Also in Voyager, the other platform I did a video on, I get paid in interest to hold my Bitcoin there. I'd rather have passive income that way uh, and just do that. I mean, Coinbase never really paid anything in interest. It was just nice to have a free transaction. But 25 cents is fine. I flipped it over to BlockFi. It's such, it's such a small amount, so I really don't worry. So now I got more, uh, more money in my BlockFi account. And also in BlockFi, I accumulate uh, Visa rewards using, their, uh, using the BlockFi Visa card. It's uh, no annual fee, and uh, you get paid in uh, Bitcoin. I think it's, God, I can't remember, it's 1.52%. Go to BlockFi, I have a link below for the BlockFi referral. You win, I win, and you know, it's a, it's a sweet deal. You can keep your money in a bank and get no interest. You know, it's up to you. That's just the way I look at it. All right, let's go on. So what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? I still like getting Bitcoin, but I wanna try something new. So let's see, and you have to mine Ethereum. So let's go over to our trusty mining pool stats. Dun, 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 money pool stats dot stream and look for Ethereum. I'm still going to mine this puppy. I'm going to mine it till I can't mine it 
any longer. So Ethereum, let's look at some of these pools out there. All right. So Ethermine is what I have my rigs on, my GPUs. They are kicking some butt. And let's go down, let's go down. Do, 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 do. And two miners, let's try two miners. So we're gonna go to two miners. We're gonna click on that. It's 1%, mm, all right. Let's go there. So maximum gas price for Ethereum is set to 135. That's way high. I would not go above 50. Keep it above 50 or 60. That's a reasonable amount. Other than that, it's like you're just that's a that's a lot of money for people. You mined it and they're just gonna strip it away for you just to transfer it. I hate Ethereum. I hate that gas thing. It's it's again, I tell people about it who really aren't into crypto, and they're going, Why are you doing that? That sounds stupid. And I go, Exactly, I know. It it kind of ruins it for Ethereum. People are turned away from it. That's what I mean. When the people start, stop mining it, they're gonna lose all their fanboys and <laughs> zero. I don't know. That's my guess. Unless they change it, unless they have a strategy, they're going to get rid of that gas fee somehow. Oh my God, let's see. What are we going on? So how do we get set up? We have two miners. All right, twominers.com. You can go in here. Most of these sites are halfway decent. There's your hash rate at 37.15. Is that terahash? That's a lot. Uh, here's my pool. USETH2miners.com. I'm going to copy that right click i'm doing this the first time guys this is this is uh i have not been through this yet you get your minimum payout and you can set it they said you can set it to get paid out in bitcoin yeah here it is ethereum miners could now uh, get payouts in bitcoin and nano with no fees and no delays oh, i'm gonna click on that see this is all news to me. we're going to it we're going through this together uh, how to get payouts for Ethereum mining f without fees. And I hate fees. I avoid fees like the play. And that's why I'm really lazy. I don't go to HiveOS or let NiceHash manage my stuff and pay the fee, right? I just rather do it myself until it becomes overwhelming where I get too many rigs and I need help. But right now it's fine. All right, we are launching the, this is October 11th. We are launching a new payout system in Two Miners Ethereum pool. It will allow our users to avoid Ethereum fees. See, everyone hates the fees. I, it's going to kill Ethereum, man. It's gonna, These guys better wake up. Uh, I think they're starting to forget the people that made them popular, the fans, the people. And when they do that, like anything in this world, it just goes away. Let's do <laughs> I'll read it later. All right, here's my poll, USA, baby. While it still lasts, USA. Let's do this copy. And then I'm going to go over... And let me find my uh, T-Rex miner, and I'm going to find the file. So stand by. Hey, I am still running on this machine. This is my laptop I took with me on vacation. It is mining while on vacation. So it's nice because it's cold here. So the heat from the laptop is keeping my hands warm. Um, we are at 024.7 on T-Rex. And what they already have set up for us is an ETH. Two miners, and it was just right in front of my face. Eth2miners.bat, right there, guys. Bum, bum, bum. Edit with notepad. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to change the pool. It might be the right one. Let me just check here. I'm going to paste what I copied. Oh, it's us east so really, it's just us-e2miners.com. All right, let's just get rid of that. Control Z. And I'm just gonna replace it anyway. If you can paste it, it's better to avoid typos. So Control V. All right, so now all I have to do is set my wallet address and name my rig. So this is Rig three. All right, so let me go find. I'm going to go find my wallet address for this to make sure I do this right. And uh, go from there. I'll be right. Okay, so what I did, I have the T-Rex ETH to two miners batch file. I have the pool set and I have my Bitcoin wallet address set and I put my rig name. So that is all you have to do to mine ETH on a two miners pool and get paid out in uh, Bitcoin to your Bitcoin 
wallet. It could be a uh, Exodus wallet, it could be an exchange wallet, and I'm doing it so I get interest on my uh, my uh, mine Bitcoin. So what is this doing? I, I kind of like this two miners. They, they explain it. And uh, they also pay out, if you do nano, you can pay out in nano for no fees. And the reasoning is they, they really explain it well. So bottom line, Ethereum fees are high. I've said it all along. I witnessed it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a normal idiot. I figured out this is ridiculous. You're paying all these fees just to move the money you created or invested in. It's like undoable. Normies are not going to go for this. It's going to kill Ethereum. Um, here's like the main issue. Say you're a miner with one GPU and you're in three bucks a day to get your monthly payout of 90 bucks. Uh, he must pay 750, which is almost 10% of his profit. Exactly. Not only uh, it, is it too much, but many miners also want to get payouts each week or even more often. Okay. And here's some of the examples of the fees, delay payouts to Ethereum miners. As a result, it also hurts miners. The pool sends payouts only when the transaction fee reaches an acceptable level. That's like on ether, uh, ethermine.org or ethermine. Yeah, you set your uh, gas limit. So under 760 per transaction, the rest of the time miners have to wait for their payouts, hoping that the gas price in Ethereum goes down. Exactly. So my first shot at mining ETH with my new GPU rigs I built was on ethermine and it kept growing and growing and growing. And I'm going, my balance is getting decently high here. I'm afraid someone may hack the pool and I lose all that money or it gets lost or blah, blah, blah. Anything can happen in this, this wild west of crypto mining, right? So this article nails it. Two miners nails the problem with Ethereum. Uh, delayed payouts and high gas fees. How did they solve it? They solved the uh, payout problems. And um, you're a small, like here, you're a small miner with one graphics card and you want to get paid today right away without paying insane Ethernet ne network fees. How can you do it? And basically get paid out through another cryptocurrency network. Nano is one of them. So I'm doing Bitcoin. Oh, uh, let's see. This is all this stuff here. It's all this stuff here. They should, same thing. You just get your Nano wallet. You set it in there. You set your pool. Kablamo. You are set to rock and roll. Let's go out here. Fees, fees, fees. When miners get paid in Nano, they don't pay any fees at all. Oh my God. Two miners gets my business just for this right up in their blog. Seriously. All right. Is Bitcoin mining on GPU possible? This is what I was doing with uh, NiceHash. I was mining ETHash but getting paid in Bitcoin. You guys, most people know that. If you don't, that's how it worked. Then you would get a free withdrawal once a month or once every 24 hours, I think, to Coinbase, your Coinbase account. They just ended that as of December 30, 2021. That is no more. Bitcoin fees are low comparably to the horrible Ethereum fees, but still it's a fee. Uh, I ended up moving myself to BlockFi because Coinbase is no more, right? You can't move to Coinbase for free. All right. Yeah, so uh, it sounds surreal. Can you, uh, can you mine Bitcoin on a GPU? It sounds surreal. Everybody knows that you can only mine Bitcoin on ASICs, uh, those noisy little machines, right? We made Bitcoin mining a, on GPU a reality. You can mine Ethereum in the two miners pool and get paid in Bitcoin. That was like with NiceHash. You can, get, you can mine on their Dagger Hashimoto pool and get paid. They have a little higher fee structure and I think from what I'm seeing, I'm going to prove it here when I run this for a while, is that two miners, even though they got the 1% fee, you make more. You're not getting as feed out. You're not being feed to death like a nice hash. You're going to make more. All right, let's see. Once the payout threshold set by a miner is reached, you set your threshold. The pool automatically exchanges ETH earned by the miner to Bitcoin, BTC. You set it. You set your threshold. The pool automatically exchanges ETH earned by a miner to Bitcoin. We currently use such cryptocurrency exchanges as Kraken and Binance. Cryptocurrencies are always exchanged at market price. And then that becomes the taxable event. When you get paid out, again, this is my understanding, check with your CPA on taxes and crap on this stuff. So when you get paid out from a pool, to your wallet, that's the taxable event. You just record, hey, I got this much at this price. That's the cost basis, right? That's what I understand. I'm gonna find out soon. <laughs> but you know, always check your CPA. Don't listen to any idiot in any Discord or any YouTube video on tax crap. Yeah, all you do is get a get a uh, 
desktop or mobile BTC wallet or generate a BTC address on a crypto exchange. I'm not, I'm not a big Binance fan, so I will pass on that. Replace your ETH address with a Bitcoin wallet address in the miner settings. A sample bat file for mining, which you miner below. I'm using T-Rex miner. Use the miner of your choice, whatever floats your boat. Do it. And you can see what's going on down here. It's a sample output. Once mining starts, you can go to your statistics, uh, statistics page by entering your Bitcoin wallet address in the search field onto miners.com. Your address is also shown on the list of all pool, miner, pool miners along with the regular uh, ETH addresses. That's pretty cool. They mix them. So it just shows everything out there mining. You can set a payout threshold on your statistics page. It is always set to ETH. You can choose any amount from 0.005 ETH, which is 17.5 bucks approximately, to 10 ETH. So you set it based on the ETH level, but you're going to get paid out in Bitcoin. I like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'd recommend, guys, go through this. Go through the twominers.com blog. Check it out. Read about it. I'm switching over. Like I said, the uh, use case here is I was on NiceHash mining ETH hash, ETH. And getting paid out in Bitcoin, free transfer to Coinbase, that ended on uh, nice hash. So I'm thinking, eh, let's try uh, two miners. I heard two miners had lower fees than nice hash, and uh, they give you the same option to do the Bitcoin to any uh, mine ETH, which all it to bit to your Bitcoin wallet address, and you are good to go. Yeah, I like their website too. I like the blog site. There's that guy I watch him now and then. He's a good guy to watch. I don't know his name. What's his name? Uh, we'll figure it out. Seb's FinTech channel. Yay. Okay. So that is all I got. I am set up with my bat file. I got two laptops. I'm going to try on this first. This is my Dale G15. It's got a 3060 inside. And it's got a powerful uh, Core i7. There we go. There you go. That's what I'm running. This little puppy smokes. And my advice is do not buy directly from Dell.com. They're a horrible site. The shipping is ridiculous. You, oh, my God. I got the same laptop for like, uh, this laptop was like $1,300. On Dell.com, it was going to be $1,500 and at like $80 shipping. Switching from NiceHash to two miners, still getting paid out in Bitcoin. I set it up. It was painless. I already had my wallet set up. If you already have your wallet set up, your Bitcoin wallet, it's pretty straightforward. Pick your miner of choice. I am a T-Rex boy all the way. All right, hope this helps, man. This is, again, my first time. It's a rough little video, but it, you should be able to find that you can do this. Uh, it's just knowing what's out there. And this site is kind of a nice place to start, which is this boy, this mining pool stats. And you can, can kind of see to miners.com, Kablamo, miner extractable value. There's all these terms you can learn. Uh, Look at it. Got it. Look at that. Mine ETH. Look at their advertisement. I love that. Mine ETH. I'm going to snapshot that. That's going to be the, the thumbnail. Mine ETH. Get BTC. No payout fees. Fantastic. Love it. So, guys, I hope this helps. Let me know what you find works good. And, uh, yeah, we'll help the community. Everyone out to help everyone succeed. That's the goal. That's my mission. Help everyone do well, and I will learn from others. And hopefully some of my uh, small brain cells will help someone else as well get started and do well. Hey, one quick note on the T-Rex miner. I am using T-Rex miner. Be sure you set your path. When you run as admin, uh, it's not going to be able to find the T-Rex if you just put T-Rex.exe. Qualify the whole path. Spell it out. I also put in devices info just to echo what the miner thinks is out there and it gives me a warm fuzzy that it knows there's one card and it's a 36 or what is this 3060 and also what i do with t-rex so i don't have to run msi afterburner for overclock i've always used the inline clock settings and what i'm doing here is power level is zero memory clock is zero i don't set the core clock why and i don't set the power level why i'm using the absolute lock core clock setting which uh, will control basically the power level. I think it maxes out to 100 or something. And you don't need the core clock. So you set this at that value, and I found this to be the sweet spot for this card, and you set and forget. And the only way these will be kicked in is if you run this as administrator, hence setting the actual 
uh, path name, full directory path to the exe file, the T-Rex. Okay, so here I am on eth.2miners.com and I put in my Bitcoin wallet address and it will show me my workers. I have two workers, which are two laptops. I got two laptops working on this and it gives you kind of the estimates there. My mega hashes, current average. And what else have we got going on? Here's my workers, Rakutaku. Worker 4, didn't name them consistently, I'll have to fix that. Uh, Rocco Taco 3 is my Dell. There's my uh, mega hash rates, the current, that's a bit low, so I'll have, to, I'll have to look at that one. Reported hash rate, that's better. Reported, I like reported better. Okay, so this has been running for maybe 15 minutes, and we're gonna see and watch this. Oh, I have to set my minimum payout. I'll do that on my account settings. I think that's how you do it. Or payouts. Ooh, what's account settings do? There we go. Minimum payout value. I want that a lot higher. And I just got to validate my IP address. And go from there. I think that's all you have to confirm is your IP address. And then you can change your minimum payouts. All right. What's this other stuff? Notifications. Ooh, you can do emails in case your workers go down. You will get email notifications. Payouts will show you probably your history of payouts. I got none. Oh, rewards. I like this. I got no rewards because I just started. All right, cool. I'm telling you, I'm digging the two miners.com thing. I really am. I've heard about it in the background, but with the nice hash drop in Coinbase free transactions, yeah, let's go try this and give it a shot. So now this finally does conclude the video. I got to the end. I just wanted to show you the dashboard on two miners.com to see what you see. And then my final step would be once I do get a payout, I will check my wallet and see if I actually got my uh, payout correctly. Um, yep, so there you go. This is pretty cool stuff, man. I love this stuff. I think it's it could be a hobby for you, or you can actually make money, you know? You know, just keep track of everything just to keep your life painless when it comes tax time. That's my advice. Um, a lot of these tools will have good reporting for you as well. All right, go forward, do great things. I am out. Go enjoy the snow. Bye.